morning everybody it's Sunday morning uh, I think it's just after 11 anyway we are taking Bob's car out the little red sports car we are gonna go out to our favorite garden center Big Al's and we need to put gas in his car and we need to get his mother a birthday card uh, mother Aaron's is going to be 91 I think this week 91 or 92 I've lost track Anyway, well, Aaron's will be 91. I was right the first time. 91. 91. 91. So we wish her a happy birthday. I think her birthday's Friday. Uh, Saturday? Fifth. No, Thursday. 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 Anyway, we're going to go out and run some errands. We'll bring you with us if anything interesting happens. We'll be back. Morning, everybody. I don't know what I did or didn't say yesterday. Um, I do think I already told you all that we have um, the first couple cases of COVID-19 here in my county in Oregon. For those that don't know, I live in Washington County. The first couple of deaths are, this person is speeding. Um, the first first couple of deaths are not far away in um, Washington State. To say I'm holding on by the thread's edge is the understatement of the century. I'm really trying hard not to give in to the anxiety and run out and stockpile things for six months and shut myself and the family up in the house and not leave. Because, yeah, that's a thing. Um, obviously, I'm in the car, so I am headed out. I'm going to be smart and use hand sanitizer, which is in the car. I'm going to use tissues, which are also in the car. Stay away from people who are coughing. Only go out for things when I really have to. I have sort of a list of things I'd like extras of on the kitchen counter. And so whenever anybody's going out to go shopping or run an errand, I ask them to take the list and try to get a few of them. That being said, I'm gonna go try to get a couple of things this morning that I forgot yesterday. And I'm kinda hoping if I go early this morning, won't be as many people at the grocery store. People are panicking and they're literally clearing shelves. It's like being anywhere after a natural disaster. If you live in a place that has earthquakes or anything like that, um, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I haven't seen this in a long time, this kind of panic or felt this kind of panic in a long time. So anyway, um, yeah, fun times. I will be going home later and doing some artwork to burn off some energy, just sitting and reading a book, that sort of thing, because yeah, I need to do that. All right, that's it at the moment. I do have physical therapy this morning, which is the main reason for me going out. I debated canceling it, but yeah, I'm not gonna do that. 
The husband also wants to go to the gym tonight, which I don't know. I told him, I, and I told him that. I said, I don't know. We'll see when I get there. <laughs> when, it, when the time comes, I don't know. I don't know if I can do the gym, but we'll find out. All right, that's it. I'll be back. Okay, can you tell it's getting near to spring because we're out walking at the normal time of night and you used to not be able to even see my face. And there's just enough light, you can see me. So just, it, it is, so Fred is still cold. <laughs> he's got his hot hands and his gloves. He's cold. Yeah, his leather, old leather motorcycle jacket. He doesn't ride a motorcycle anymore, but, which is a long story I won't get into, but anyway. Um, it's been a long day full of scary, conflicting COVID-19 news. We have six deaths um, just across the state border from us three cases of COVID-19 here in my county, two of which are in my county in Oregon. One is not. Anyway, people are being crazy and clearing the shelves at the supermarket and, you know, people, I have anxiety disorder. I could be a prepper, so easy, but I'm not that person that feels the need to go clear out the store shelves and leave nothing for my neighbor, neighbors or anyone else in the community. That's just all kinds of wrong. Anyway, I got some art in. We're gonna get away now and we're gonna go walking, take crazy pants for a walk. She's extra hyper right now. Yeah. So we're gonna get some fresh air and get to it. I'll be back. I, I do want to insert more funny things because life's stressful enough. Mm. I was just taking some pictures here on my evening walk and I'll post to Instagram later. My stupid phone. It doesn't want to unlock to my face, but it unlocks all the time to my daughter's face. What the hell? Freaking phone. I think she looks a lot like me. I don't know. She looks more like you than you do. Right? I don't understand it. All right, I'll be back. It is 9.53 a.m. Tuesday, March 3rd. Don't get excited. I'm obviously in the art room and I'm next to the computer. I've got a literal crap ton of video to edit from the regular vlog, the chronic pain vlog, 
we have a cooking with Fred episode, but it was sort of shot vlog style. So I may today, the next week's vlog might have parts one and part two. Um, there's a bunch of stuff about COVID-19 and God, I don't even know what else. I did shoot a little video last night, um, doing my daily drawings that I'm probably going to go ahead and also edit today and put it in my, um, directly into my Facebook group, um, two Facebook groups, a life of art and self-expression and my creative year. It'll probably be direct to them and bypass YouTube. It's going to need a voiceover so I can do some explaining. Um, I did do two drawings, so I might split it in half. I don't know yet. So anyway, I got a shit ton to do, and I'm just kind of dragging my feet about it. Because, you know. <laughs> anyway, hiding in the house. I am. I do have gym clothes on. I will probably be going to the gym with my husband later. And of course, taking all precautions. You can't stop living life, right? But you can be careful. And so that will be the motivation going forward. I won't, though, be taking un any unnecessary, unnecessary, blah, 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 any unnecessary chances. We do over the next few months have different events coming up that I need to go to or travel to. And that concerns me because I don't know how I'm going to get there without having a full-blown anxiety attack. Some I could drive to, even though it's, you know, I need to add an extra day coming and going to drive there. Others I can't, so I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully they'll figure something out by then. All right, that's it for the moment. I better get to editing. I'll be back. Wednesday morning, February, I'm sorry, crap, March 4th, 7.48 a.m. I'm working on my second cup of coffee and my yogurt. Um, I'm going to get online in a minute and chat with some friends for a bit. Yes, I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> I was going to get on and vlog last night um, just about a couple things and I, I didn't, but yeah, my mind isn't any better about them today. So, you know, amid the coronavirus thing, no matter which side of the fence you are on, whether you think it's something pandemically serious or you just think it's a bad flu, when you're asked to be put in quarantine, it's not only for your own safety, but it's for the safety of those around you. And so why would you not just do that? I know it's not fun, but it's for the betterment of yourself and everyone else. There's a man in New Hampshire that just decided he didn't want to be in his quarantine anymore, so he left before his 14 days were up so he could go to a party. And then my husband was telling me last night about a news report he heard at a Travis Air Force Base in California where the um, quarantined patients and staff medical staff are not taking proper precautions. What the frick? That's not the word I want to use. We're better than this, America. We're better than this. Well, that's all I got to say this morning. <laughs> I'm going to chat with my friends. I will be probably doing some art. I'm going to start probably on that canvas this morning and I'll be working some more on some journal pages and some watercolor today so I'll get you all some video footage when I can and that's it for the moment. I'll be back.
Hey guys, obviously we're out in the garage. You can hear the washing machine in the background. It's Thursday morning, March 6th, I think, or 5th. It's Thursday. It's just after 11 a.m. And um, I'm just, I'm staying home today. I'm not really going out if I don't have to. I'm not traveling if I don't have to. Yes, it's because of the virus. I do have asthma, and while I would probably be fine, I don't want to take any chances. So, um, you know, I'm a homebody at heart anyway, so there's plenty of things for me to do around here, and you really don't have to convince me too hard to want to stay home. <laughs> so that's a thing. Um, anyway, I'm doing laundry, obviously, and I'm gonna go feed Bambi and do stuff around the house. I'll probably do some watercoloring later. I'm still working through Jean Haynes' book, Paint Yourself Positive, so I'll be working on that. And I have a painting I started yesterday. If you're watching this clip, you've seen that one already. So it's been a productive day, and I also have to um, update the website and get some um, Etsy store ads um, created and posted on social media. So I need to do that today or tomorrow too. So it's not like I have plenty to do. Anyway, what are you all up to and how are you handling the coronavirus issue? I'd love to know. How are you staying calm? How are you working your way through it? All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. It's uh, 6.20 p.m. We made a quick early dinner. Uh, we had breakfast for dinner. I made some homemade biscuits and we had sausage and eggs and gravy and I'll put a picture here. Anyway, now Becca and I are going to go brave the grocery store because I really don't want to go this weekend. There's going to be like 5 million people there. So we're going to go do it now. She wants to get out of the house anyway. She doesn't mind being my chauffeur. She shrugged her shoulders, but we'll be back. Hey guys, how are you? It's Friday, March 6th. I know I said yesterday was the 6th. Yesterday was the 5th, my mother-in-law's birthday. She's 91. Everybody say happy birthday to Betty. Um, anyway, it is still morning because it's um, just after 11 a.m. I'm headed over to physical therapy which I feel safe doing because not only am I taking lots of precautions and I've got gloves and sanitizing wipe and hand sanitizer and tissues in the car, um, but it's a facility that is only orthopedics. It's, you generally don't see people there coughing and sniffling. Um, if they're doing that, they're not at that, at that building. The whole building is just orthopedics, so 
I'm gonna just go do what I need to and then come home and take precautions while I'm doing it. We still, I'm sure it's gonna change at some point, but we have three confirmed COVID-19 cases in Oregon and over 60 negative tests that were done. So that's good news for the moment. I'm sure it's gonna change at some point. The next two weeks will tell. Um, but for the most part, everybody in my community seems to be taking a lot of precautions, which is good. I live in a community that's a lot of folks that are 40 plus and a lot, predominantly 60 plus. So really trying hard to take care of our seniors because they're the ones that are most vulnerable. Not to mention those of us, myself included, who already have pre-existing conditions like lung issues, like asthma. <laughs> So, you know, that's a thing. I have a sister with an autoimmune issue and, uh, you know, my parents are both elderly. So mom is uh, 79, I think. Dad's uh, 80, no, mom must be 78. So dad's 80. So, you know, yeah. Anyway, we're all trying hard to be cautious. going to go do what I need to. If you're watching this though, you saw me getting a few fun things done this morning. I um, watched CBS All Access. I caught up on Station 19, which I am a fan of. I was going to start with Star Trek Discovery again, but I knew I'd probably miss my appointment if I did that because yesterday I, ended, I intended to do a whole bunch of stuff. I ended up just sitting and watching Star Trek Discovery like literally most of the day. Anyway, um, I think I'm up to episode seven or episode eight or of season one. I don't know. Anyway, uh, so I caught up on station 19 and then the clips that you've seen, if you're watching this, are of me mixing some custom paint colors for myself, including my own version of Naples yellow and a my version of Payne's gray. I am running out of both. And while I have reordered some of them, I want to use up what I have first and, and I have lots of paint I thought I could do that with and I was right so I got that done and I made some more watercolor artboards also a good thing which I love doing anyway I've got people tailgating me because you know that's a good thing all right I'm gonna go to physical therapy and I'll be back
Hey guys, it's Saturday morning, March 7th. I got no idea what time it is. I just know it's not lunchtime yet. I think it's around 10, 10.30, somewhere in there. Anyway, it's a partly cloudy day. Typical for Oregon. Overcast, little drizzly, but the sun's so bright I need glasses, <laughs> sunglasses. Anyway, family is headed out to the gym. I'm gonna go for a walk because I'm not feeling very people -y today. And uh, yeah, I'll take you with us. Let's go, or uh, with me, let's go. Oh, and it's 10.08 a.m. So yeah, and no, I don't have Lily with me because I can't control her by myself. So anyway, let's go, I'll I have be back. To say, I don't know which vlog this will go into, but maybe both. It's nice to be out in the fresh air, even though it's a little cold. It looks like it's gonna rain at any second, but it's there's no, hardly any people around. I can get some nice, clean, fresh air, get some steps in. So much more enjoyable than the gym. I do go to the gym when I can't get out here and do this. It's not my favorite place, even without COVID-19. So anyway, and thankfully I live in, the pl in a place where I feel relatively comfortable walking the neighborhood by myself, unlike the old house. Yeah, so that's a thing. All right, I'll be back. It's a challenge to be out here doing the walk by myself and not have GPS running in the background. For those that don't know, I have absolutely no sense of direction and get lost a lot. <laughs> so anyway, I think I'm good though. We'll see you in hey a minute. guys, it is 10 o'clock on Saturday, the 7th of March. I'm just putting my black paper doodle bag away. Um, it's been a long day, but it's been a good one. I'm keeping myself busy, staying away from any and all discussions on COVID-19. Um, taking the needed precautions that I need to take, um, keeping mindful of what's going on, um, but staying away from the, cra the craziness, right? Because there's a lot of that out there. And I don't, I don't need to be involved in that. <laughs> um, it's making me insane. I put some pens away up here. I don't remember where I put them. Oh, here, right in front of me. Here we go. <laughs> anyway, um, it's been a fun day and there's been a lot of sort of bonus art footage for you all this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave something in the comments below. And if you're watching this um, ending for the chronic pain vlog, um, cause I'm going to give you all both the same ending. It's been a stressful week, but, um, and my knee hurts today because I had therapy yesterday. Then I went walking last night. Then I went walking again this morning. Then I twisted it a little bit. So yeah, well, it'll be all right. When it feels better, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I think we're just getting stuck in at home. Um, we're taking advice from the CDC and the World Health Organization and, you know, not leaving the house unless we have to and being mindful when we do and washing our hands. And yeah, I don't think we have anything to do anyway. So I think we're going to just stay home. It's all good. All right, that's it for now. I hope you all have had a great week. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Support your creatives here on YouTube and over in the Facebook art groups, of which that I know there are many artists that do both. Um, we all have ways that we seek support from you all that enjoy our content, um, whether it's an Etsy shop or a PayPal tip jar or Patreon or something. So check out my video descriptions. I've got lots of ways you can do that. I know most of the other artists here on YouTube have that too, so check it out. Um, yeah, I think that's good. Don't forget the most important thing. Um, leave, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave it down below. And the most important thing, of course, is go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.